So we're getting ready to start gluing this old Gibson up, the J45, if you saw the other videos, just all hell broke loose, I mean, literally broke loose. Uh, I might have been a little bit hard on Gibson in that last video on this. Uh, you know, to produce one guitar like this over all of the hundreds or thousands, however many they produce over the years, you know, that's not too bad. And, and really, rather than point the finger at Gibson, this probably, all this guitar's problems probably boils down to one or two or maybe three people. Not the entire Gibson factory, as I suggested before. I'm probably going to hear from Gibson lawyers about that video if I haven't, uh, well I haven't yet, but probably will. Uh, they've been known to strike on YouTube before because they're, uh, they're whatever. So, you know, I, I may even end up having to take that video down. I don't know yet. We'll, we'll see. Anyway, so I may have been a little bit harsh on them. Uh, you know, they have guys that uh, cut the braces, guys that cut the wood out for the guitar, guys that assemble the guitar, guys that do the uh, neck joint, the guys that set the neck, guys that finish the guitar, you know, and the guy that finished this guitar probably didn't know he was finishing over a crack with a cleat on it. You know, I'm pretty sure the guy that set the neck on this guitar did know there was a crack there, though, and put, a, put that cleat in there. And, uh, you know, just reach it to the finishing guy, and he finished it and out the door. Oh, and, and, and the inspector. Whoever inspected the guitar may be at blame also on final inspection because they should have... Well, of course, he wouldn't even been able to see any of these errors, especially if the guitar was playable and set up nice, you know, the way, that, the way it should be and usually is from Gibson. A lot of people, uh, well, not a lot, but several people could be to blame for this. And like me and the owner was talking, it was built in 19, early 90s. And those people probably don't even work at Gibson anymore. So, you know, but still, to, to think something like that would come out of the Gibson factory is just uh, mind-blowing, man. Anyways, enough of that. I got glue out. I got uh, a cup. I got paper towels. I got wet rags. I got a suction cup. And I'm going to use these pipettes because I don't want to pull that apart any farther than I have to. Now, I took uh, pliers and crimped, smashed the end of these pipettes so I can get it right into a crack, into this, these cracks. I'll bring you over closer so you can see as well as I can show you what's going on. But I'm going to suck these up as full of glue, and two of them because I'm going to have to move pretty fast. i got uh, one, two, three... Four places really here to glue up and get clamped. And the working time on this glue, I should have plenty of time, but I don't like to waste any of it. Anyways, I'm going to suck these full of glue, and I'll bring you back, and we will, I'll move the camera over here where you can see what's going on. And we'll start putting this old girl back together. It's going to be way better than it has ever been in this guitar's life. So let's do it! Yes, sir. A lot of glue getting in it, that old puppy. See it squirting out. I don't know if you probably can't see shit, but maybe you'll take my word for it. You know, I want to wipe some of that away, too. There's a lot of glue getting into that joint. We don't want that. I mean, not in the joint itself, because it will mess with how the joint fits. And I'm hoping it will fit pretty well without too awfully much time spent. You know what I mean? Making it, trying to make it fit. Okay, that's good for now. That's the main area right there. you're going to be able to see shit or not, but hopefully you can. Oh, man. It's so friggin' hot here today. It's 
unbelievable for this time of year to have this kind of heat. I'm not going to worry about cleats right now. I just I want to get this glue in the in the crack and uh, get it clamped. I'm going to worry about the cleats later on. Let's just wipe that away. You hold on. <laughs> so I say I need more hands, man. A couple of hands that would work would be nice. Shake like a little bitch most of the time. It's very hard to do anything tedious anymore since being diagnosed with this focal dystonia thing. A musician's nightmare. Believe me, it is a musician's nightmare. Let's see if I can get some more glue. Down in with that. Yes. Quite a lot in there. This is good. Water from these rags will also help to get glue where we want the glue to go. Now I want to line this finish up on the crack as closely as I can get it, smoothly as I can get it as well. Now you still want to be able to feel it and see, see it. And uh, you know, there's no way to avoid that. I can just hold it there now. of leather if I can with one hand okay move this clamp for the time being that's it Yes, sir. I'm getting the squeeze out now. And that looks good. I want to put that clamp back on there. It's going to be a hell of a looking thing. Let's see if I can get this a little bit tighter before I before I do that. about as tight. That's perfect. That draw that in too. I still need to get a clamp here. This works wonderfully. I can reach it actually. Yes sir. Okay. Let's inspect it a little bit closer. You gotta be very careful with that clamp here. I think you can see the squeeze out right here. Uh, I think you can see it. I hope you can. And that crack is always going to be visible though until the guitar is refinished again. I'll touch it up a little bit. I can soften the lacquer up there. And, uh, Sand it down with some high grit sandpaper. Try to smooth it off best I can. I think it'll be okay. 
I want to look inside the guitar for squeeze out. I'll show you. I'll try to show you if I can. Yeah, man. Good squeeze out inside that guitar. There's even some glue in there that needs wiped away. Good squeeze out around the neck block. Good God, it's hot in here. Yeah, yeah. I like what I'm seeing, baby. Other than the crack would be in there, but it shouldn't be. The whole neck block is busted right down the side of it. I'll try to get you in here and show you this. Okay, I have a mirror propped up against the side of the guitar. What you see there is the side of the neck block where it let go. Check that out, man. I gotta get in there and wipe that up. But there's the neck block. Okay, see it? It's still some water there where I wiped it once already. Got a good squeeze out on that neck block in there and outside as well. Now I'll give you perspective of what you're looking at. I'll just back away from the guitar here, take the light out, and you can see we was looking into that mirror back up at this opposite side of the uh, the neck block. Now if I can turn it around, uh, maybe right there, here's the opposite side of the neck block. This is just, uh, there's your perspective again. And looking down into, into the inside of it, probably ought to wipe that away again too. That's where she split, folks. So you're looking right down into the dovetail joint, okay? Whoops, down in there you go. Good squeeze out there. Now, i got to move the mirror. Hold on. Okay, here we are, looking at the same side of the neck block. That's the neck block in the right-hand side you see there. And then to the left of it is that crack. we got to squeeze out. The crack only goes to, well... Yeah, it only goes to right there. I don't know what we're seeing there, a knot in the wood or something, but right there is where the crack ends. And I got, yeah, I didn't want to separate it any more than I had to because it'll just split the finish again. So, uh, we did, we got squeezed out completely through. Next video, we'll put clip, uh, cleats, clips. We'll put cleats right there. And we'll start right against that Gibson cleat that didn't hold. Put a cleat right against it and then a few inches from it and then one on the very end or one in the center and then one on the very end of the, the crack. And that crack will never open up again. Hold on, I'll show you the outside. Now here's the same crack on the outside of the guitar. There you can see a perspective there a little bit. Um, all this funkiness around here, that's just glue. That'll come off. I just rub that off with a wet rag after after I take the clamps and stuff off, you can barely feel that crack now. A little bit right there, maybe. Yeah, that might just be finished. But there's what it looks like. Uh, glued together. Like I say, I'll let that set up 12 hours or so. And then come back and put cleats on the inside of this crack. It stops right there. And I got glue ended up to almost the very end of it. I'll put a cleat inside right up over the end of it there. But uh, it, the reason I had to clamp it up like this was because, if you remember, the, uh, yeah, I need a light. If you remember the neck joint right there where you see that squeeze out, okay? I needed to squeeze this in that way. You know, to get that squeeze out down in there that I showed you. The band clamp was perfect for that, but it also worked in squeezing this in to make that crack level and flat as I could get it. And this, this clamp, if you remember, there was a bad break. Uh, give me the light again. Looking down in the dovetail, if you remember, there was a bad uh, break way down near the bottom of the dovetail joint. I don't know, maybe we can see it up like this. No, you can't. Anyways, 
yeah, it was right there. Uh, where are we at? Right there at the at the where this crack, the crack you're looking at in the center of the screen, came across into the dovetail. Shit, nothing's working. And uh, so I needed to squeeze this with this clamp, you know, from here down to here to squeeze that crack together. So I got them all squeezed together very tight now. Maybe I'm gonna put another clamp. I think I will right here. Right in this area. I'm going to do that right now, so hold on. All this clamp is going to do, I never thought about that until right now, but I can get another clamp. These clamps, by the way, have rubber on the ends of them, so I can put those right on the finish. Uh, maybe I should put that this way. I can put them right on the finish, and it won't harm the finish any whatsoever. See if we can get maybe a little bit more squeeze out here. I can't do anything left handed. Man. Yeah, we are getting more already. And that's that's good right there. Just a little bit more pressure there. I did get some more squeeze out right here, so this is good. Very good. So that crack will never be a problem again. Once that sets up, like I say, we'll put cleats in there. Probably one up here by the uh, the Gibson cleat. I just left it in there. They probably epoxied it in. He'd never get it out. And I think I'm going to use rosewood cleats. Now this is not a rosewood back, but rosewood is a very, very hard wood. And if anything, you know, it's not going to hurt the sound to get there. They're going to be so small. I think we're going to put one against the Gibson cleat, one in the center of the crack, and then one here at the very end of it to keep it from going anymore ever again. So, yeah, man, that's the plan. We'll look that in there once more. Yeah, we did get a little bit more squeeze out. Very good. And i got to wipe that squeeze out of the way right now around that neck block before I forget it. that so I'm, I'm very happy with these glue joints very much happy with these glue joints I can assure you the guitar will be stronger than it's ever been in its lifetime I mean I guarantee it man I'm gonna glue the neck back on it it's all going to be uh, like it should have been when it left the factory Anyways, like I say, I might, I may have been a little heavy on Gibson for, you know, letting the thing leave like that. But I, really, it does. Boils down to like one person or two people, maybe three, that, you know, maybe none of them even work there anymore. I hope not for letting stuff like this get by. Those individuals should be, if they still work there, they should be dealt with. And, uh, you know, I, like I say, I don't know what Gibson will say when they see the last video. Might have been a little bit hard on them, but uh, still, uh, they, it just should have never happened. You know, you don't see it happening. I've never seen it happen with Martin or Santa Cruz or Taylor or any of the big guy, the big guys. I've never seen it happen with Gibson before until now. I guess that's the first time for everything. <laughs> but anyways, thanks for watching, folks. And uh, like I say, next video probably will put the cleats in it. And uh, I can't do anything to that neck joint. You know, when you steam it off like that, that steam gets into the wood and it swells and can deform it and change things. And you want this sucker to be dry when you glue that neck back on. Or even when you fit it on. I don't even want to start fitting the neck until I'm sure I'm going to give it a week to dry. So you probably see another video putting the cleats in. Or maybe not even film it. I don't know. If you want to see it, say so. And I'll video it. And, uh, but I want to wait a week before I do anything at all to this joint. And that'll let all the steam and water and uh, moisture that got into the wood, will let it all dry out. Pretty much got most of the old blue off of it now. Here again. Uh, where was it? Yeah. That right there, that's not wood glue. Man, that looks like epoxy to me. See what I mean? Now this side doesn't look that way. That looks like wood glue and wood, wood glue on that shim as well. 
but uh, that's not wood glue folks see that it's not hide glue either it is not hide glue I don't know what it is but uh, they used something different on that on the side of the neck that was where the neck block broke or cracked thanks for watching folks see you soon stay tuned it's going to be real interesting and I I bet this thing's going to sound like a killer guitar when it's finished I know it's going to play like one cheers thanks for watching tell the YouTube family I love you <coughs> What? What is it? I love you. I love you. Oh, good. Good girl. I love you. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What is it? You want a drink of water? She likes to lick the cool bottle moisture. Now tell them what you said. What? Oh. Good, I love you. I love you.